Hello! Welcome to my tube. My name's Mars. I'm Aoka. I'm an empath and I just like doing these little talks on how I feel about things. I was just looking for my uh, talk. No, no. I had a GoPro somewhere around here. I was looking for it. I can't find it. I thought maybe I'd try to <coughs> finagle something. Use that camera. I have actually, now that I think about it, I have a webcam in the my lap, old laptop bag upstairs. I have an old Toshiba up there. The motherboard died. I'll try that. I think of it. So, hope y'all are well. I feel good. I was going to do this outside Sunday evening and too many other people are out and about. And, uh, it's too loud. I won't be able to focus on what I'm saying. I'll just be all, girl, I want to move someplace where I don't have neighbors. But you know what? Food for thought. I just, you know, it just gives me things to look for of what I don't want. When I come up with something that I really don't like, it's just what I don't want in life. So next time, I shoot for the absence of that. So next time, I'm going to have a little bit more, some more space between me and any kind of neighbor. Yep. I don't mind living on a dirt road. I... It's kind of therapeutic. Frickin' drive along with a big red truck on a dirt road, just rumbling along, you know, chill. So, I feel good, you know, because I'm finding I come across people recommended, because there ain't not a whole lot of going on on the tubes these days, and I kind of check out recommended. Oh, I used to watch them. I'll see what they're about, because, you know, I've fallen off out of touch, out of alignment with a lot. Mostly a lot of tarot card readers because I get it's just a radio station and, and, and you know, it, none of those stories are panning out for me. It's, and it just, I found it frustrating. So I just let them all fall away. I'll check into Minnow Pond every now and again. But they don't like me. The <laughs> anyway, um, but I check back into... Uh, Sounds with B, psychic sounds with B, or something like that. And she, I liked it, cause I was like, that's how I see it. You know, this is like karmic retribution. I went through my karmic retribution period. That was tough, where everything become instant. You know, cause that's the new world that we live in. It's it's all instant. Like we get to clear it, and keep it away, and just freaking stop doing stuff that, that's gonna accumulate way heavy on our spirit you know we don't want to freaking carry those chains around like Ebenezer Scrooge you know let that stuff go because that's the stuff that causes cancer and um, she was talking about you know now's the time to freaking don't do anything watch who you're getting in bed with literally and figuratively watch who you're doing business with and look back a few generations you know and you know who as the companies pass down, you know, because there's a lot of corruption. You don't want to be tied to that. People are real, shouldn't be freaking so quick to jump into the picture. Oh, look who I'm hanging out with because you never know. If you if you don't, <laughs> if you aren't a good judge of character, fast forward 20 years, you're going to look back and go, yeah, look who you're hanging out with, you know. And people just grow more from what they are and when... People feel small in life. They 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 have to control more when they've been made to feel like they haven't had any, you know. <laughs> and all of us, and none of us really have any control over anything except for our attitude about stuff. That's it. It's how we look at stuff, you know. So I just assume, tell myself, hey, things are looking up today, and say, oh god, another day trudging, trudging this road. Woes me, blah, 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 blah. Nope. So we create our own reality. How do you want to shape it up for you? So just dream big. Just dream the biggest. Just dream so big. Just dream big. You know, think about every detail. Mom and I wrote a wish list the other day of like what we want the property to be like and stuff. Of the next place where we live. Yeah wish list out. Yeah. You know, and how often we're gonna freaking, we've been talking about how often, okay, we can go see the girls maybe 
once every couple of weeks, you know, once a month at least. However, offer brother permits, you know, so they have busy lives and stuff like that. Bless you, baby gosh. Oh my goodness, you just bless you, baby God. Oh my goodness, oh dear, that's three. We're we gonna find our soulmate. Is that what that means? Anyway, um, whoa. You know, and like maybe when they get a little older, they can come up and and uh, have slumber parties and stuff, and we can make freaking ice cream sundays and around holidays drink cocoa and watch Polar Express, just stuff like that. And go, go caroling and 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 do all that stuff. You know, because I'm ready to make. And that's the thing is is this last period for me in my astrology and how it's been. Do you guys sound like your nose, bud? I can't see up there. It says I'm being blooper. I should be able to see you to China. I do not see. Oh, God bless you. Do I need to suck it out? Okay. Just had a dental. That's the only thing that... If there's something... Anyway, um, what was I? Instant karmic. I went through my instant karma period. I went through, and that was freaking brutal. That was rough. Oh, that was rough. You know, my free, my free will run riot. I lost friends. I lost important relationships. I lost, you know, conf I lost, I lost everything. I lost. I was stripped away down to nothing. Um, and at that point, was be able to go back up again and the thing of it is 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 before all that I was I was willing to put up I think he's doing better feeling better I was willing to put up with you know whoever and whatever just for any kind of attention camaraderie friendship things like that and um and when I burned all the bridges and stuff like that I I was just able to sit and get quiet and think about what is important to me and that things aren't and some relationships are but most aren't and, and, and I started thinking more about balance and how important it is and how I can recognize it myself and in others and this you know as as, as goes on the ascension you know it's giving me a chance to hang out with mom learn to love mom see because mom and I didn't have a right relationship my astrology has given us a chance to heal that. She didn't always look out what was... She might have done what was right for her at the time with the tools that she had. <laughs> anyway. She picked her boyfriends a lot. You know? Her relationships a lot. None of busy to talk. Hannah's a man. There was a lot of neglect. And so I did have to learn how to soothe myself a lot from a young age. But thing of it is, is I learned how, and I didn't let it make me, you know, feel like I had to control every situation in the world. See, that's the thing, is we have free will. We can point which way our light goes. We can be withholding and controlling and manipulative and all that shady shit. Now's the time not to be shady, because you are about to be blasted by the universe. So keep it clean, keep it real, keep it authentic. And that's the thing is people can't lie. Energy doesn't lie. It doesn't. And more and more people are raising in their vibration and they're able to pick up people's bull crap, you know. I'm getting real good at it. But I've been doing, I've been at this my whole life. I've been aware of this esoteric realm. It's been my, it's been my comfortable place so now that people are stepping into it welcome glad you're here so it's about time people are starting to want what's best for other people you know and i know that a lot of people are vibing real high right now and they're feeling real good about stuff and living the best versions of their life but watch who you're crapping on man watch who you're crapping on People need to stand in their integrity because that is the only thing. It's like the integrity is the final frontier. It's like, what can this world be? 
Imagine what the world, the whole world would be if people stood in their integrity because that is not something that has ever happened in life, in history as far as I know. Because then that, that, to me, that would present itself as peace on earth, goodwill toward all man, no borders, cooperation is nature's way, yah yah. Think of all the inventions that could happen those communication lines were open physically because we all have them telepathically we all have the same ideas but if people were able to collaborate and build on those more oh what the world would be that's about all I got for this evening hope all you have a right day peace